Yeah, I still play in the dirt, folks. Play on the old excavators, bulldozers, and scrapers, and get out the old shovel, and fill in them old culverts, and tamp around them still. I'm getting up there, but I, I do that in the summer and then chase the old coyotes in the wintertime. But the other day, Sean was going over his folks to do a few chores, and he seen a pair of coyotes in the morning on the way over, and we were kind of lined up later that day to go coyote calling there later in the morning. So when I got over there, he told me he'd seen these two coyotes. He said, I don't know if they're still out there, but they were oh, a mile or so off the highway. So that's where we're headed. We're in the old ranger. Pretty deep snow in places, so we got the tracks on there. We're going to go try one set, clear out this little uh, shoulder belt, and then go on out in the hills where he thinks they are. But we're going to try one set here, and Sean's going to take a long old shot on this one. Eight hundred. Eight hundred and six. Eight hundred and six. With the old twenty-two two fifty. Yeah. A little far for this thing. We don't care. We shoot. He might have seen us walk in or whatever. It didn't come. But we just let her rip out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, that was kind of stretching that old 22, 250, 800 yards, especially in a little wind like that. So anyway, there was one in there, glad we stopped, but he might have seen us or walk in there or whatever. But anyways, uh, now we're gonna go out in the hills here, start working our way in there, and we might take another couple sets or more to find him out in these hills. But we're gonna try it, and it's gonna take uh, all three stages of my calling to get this pair of coyotes in. We're going to find them. Well, that highway's about two miles over there. Sean was coming, doing chores. He's folks' this place there this morning. And how many did you see? There's two there this morning. Two there. Somewhere out in here, there could be two coyotes. It might take us a couple, three sets to find them. It's a big area out here. But... We've got Pee Wee and the Alpha Dog set up about 50 yards upwind. <coughs> Going right to stage two prey distress, the adult jackrabbit. Been in stage three pup distress for a couple minutes, and here they come. They're gonna go clear around the hill. To shoot them down there, aren't we? I'm on one that stopped. Is that the first or second one? It's the first one. I'm on that one. Stay on it. Yep. Have to shoot them down that bottom. Yep. It's coming straight now. I'll stop them when I. I'm about gonna have to stop him, man. Oh! 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 You on that first yeah. one? Okay, wait. I'm on him. Bing, bang, boom. There's two down. <laughs> well, we used all three stages of calling there. They could have been coming to that jackrabbit. Sounded yeah. like they're quite a ways over there. Yeah, they're quite a ways. Yeah, they may have been coming, but we hate it when we got a hill in front of us and we can't miss big country and you don't know if they're coming or not, especially if they howl. But went to the pup and went just straight into us, just like this, it's from the southwest. Them suckers, see how they wanted to circle? And if we let them go any farther, they're going to be right around the hill. So. Is that a mama and a papa? Yeah, it's a male and female. Yeah, the old female invitation howl got them going. Seen them, went after them, right, Sean? 
Yeah, I seen them at probably eight o'clock this morning, and what is it? Noon now. Noon, yeah. But we kept after them and just used the alpha dog on this. On this big country, we need all the volume we can get, and it can it can out blow me a little bit. I can blow pretty loud, but that old alpha dog's got some volume. So good shooting. Twenty-two two fifty's yeah. got a savage a, action, right? Yeah, it's a savage that Chris kind of overhauled. Oh yeah, and then you got the old uh, suppressor. Suppressor from Cooper's Corner down there at the old Mason City, Nebraska. Yep. yep. Well, there's that grove where that first one came out of. He's gonna come looking for a girlfriend. Take these two places, aren't they? Yeah, they'll have to. That turn old Pee-wee's coming right along with it. Here's where we come in this morning. tracks on the asphalt but beats loading it up and every time we go somewhere we just go for it. We don't care how far it is. No, we put on a few miles. Yeah. Come little coyote. 